Welcome everyone to Pokemon Reborn, where we've solved all the puzzles. Uh, if you guys are hot for this video and you don't want Daddy Nintendo to delay Scarlet and Violet anymore, uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Question of the if day. You want, if, you, if you want, and that means if you want Nintendo to delay the game, leave a dislike on the video. No, let's not dislike any video. That <laughs> hurts. Def, stop that. Go, go dislike Def's videos. Uh, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that either. But, uh... Question of the day, out of the uh, three starters, which one's you picking? Quaxley, Sprigatito, Fue Coco? I am a uh, Sprigatito at the moment. Uh, it could change though. Could very much so change uh, to Fue Coco. Oh, hey, there's another healing one. I didn't even need to go back. Mine is Quaxley. The duck. Texandra. The duck. I know what you uh, I said before, but I don't think you, of all people, would actually make it this far. Gotta be honest, I'm genuinely impressive. Or, it's genuinely impressive. I can't read, apparently. Just how you've constantly been cheated and looked your way forward. Remember what I said back at the school? Someone like you doesn't deserve to move forward here. What you? What have you done, huh? Forget accomplishments? Why do you deserve it more than anyone else? Can you really answer that? Can you look me in the eyes and tell me why? No matter how hard anyone tries. You get to be the one to step on them. If it's gotta be someone, it should be me. What ride do you have? You might ask. To which I say, fuck off. Fern. You stay out of this, Flobot. This is between me and Kexandra, and no one else. I'll beat you here and take the rest of your badges for myself. Hey, I guess you, Have you ever considered that you didn't win because you're an asshole? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Consider the following. You're an asshole. Betting on flinches. All right, superior. So we know that this thing wasn't contrary, but it did have dragon, uh, dragon poles. Well, we don't know that it wasn't contrary. It didn't raise any of its stats. Um, if you really want to test it, send in Drizzle and use Icy Wind on it. But Dragon Blade get it off in time. Yeah, it's contrary. Yeah. That's a problem. That's a problem. Um, honestly, uh, having Damp Rock on Drizzle might not be a good idea for this. This Dragon Pulse is going to KO now, for sure. Pops Prusty. We don't one shot off this, though. They didn't fly. I, I don't know why I didn't fly earlier against this thing. We should have done that to begin with. Uh, Crocodile, this thing is definitely faster. We just go flappers. Haxorus. Did I say, alright, oh, he is five. Attack Haxorus. No, but we could go Darwin, baby. I mean, you, you actually keep flappers in this turn and then swap Darwin next turn. Yeah. Range doesn't affect. Is it? I wonder if it's worth baby doll Ozzy. Yeah, poison jab you, but you will survive one, especially like baby doll wise. I think it might be. I mean, we're gonna survive one out of one shot. Do you one shot them? No, you don't. No. Um, I mean, swap again. He's gonna poison jab you. Yeah. Rock team. Polygos of our KO range. Um, bullet punch. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think we're in range anymore. This is a new development. It's bullet punching. Yeah. I was trying to think if there was any better option that we could do. Alright, Sizzle. No. Rain is gone. I think we have to go Aces and we Flare Blitz this thing to the face. Alright, bye. Problem solved. Decidua. Flare Blitz again. Get out of here. What do you say? I don't know. Get out of here, Fern. Hope you step on a rock. Um, Bullet punch? Probably. Oh, you have Shadow Sneak. Uh, that's not the end of the world, though, because I can go Darwin and Max Revive, Aestis. Get 
Get out of here. Get out of here, Fern. Step on a rock. Oh, yeah, I'm Fern. That's right. I forget. <laughs> Why does it have to be you? Because I'm better than you. It should have been me. It should have been. It should still be. But you got in the way. Fern. What? What do you want, you stupid doll? The speaker is not a doll. You sure resemble one. Your behavior is irrational. It is suggested to withdraw from the present conflict at once. That's what I thought. Everyone's just against me. You always have been. Incorrect. Where's your fucking evidence, huh? You never cared back then, and even now you're still trying to stop me. You just snatched this place right up. You want to know why I should be the one to finish the league? Because then maybe, just maybe, if I were champion, maybe someone would actually smile at me. Yeah? Because no one ever bothered to. Her parents sure didn't. Anything I did well, she got the credit for. Anything she did wrong, I got the blame for. Flobot would never smile. She actually used to, you know that? You believe it? Not at me. Never at me. The other students. I wasn't always top of the pack. More like rock bottom of it. But I fixed that. I learned to pers uh, persevere. To take control. But when you're at the top, when they don't smile for a different reason, they're too afraid. Everyone's a coward. What does it cost, huh? To make just another person feel like they aren't some scum of the earth? That's why even now, I try to face the challenge with a smile. And if I can't, then I just have to make something worth smiling about. Lynn can do that. Better than anyone else can. God knows there's too little in this world that's worth it. None of us would even be here right now. That is correct. In this world, all things operate within scarcity. Resources are finite. Space and time are finite. Compassion is finite. This is the world once birthed by Arceus of its own will. This is not the world that must be accepted. With the wisdom that both humans and Arceus lacked so long ago, we can guide the creation to a world where these limits are not needed to apply. Gotta say, I've never been glad to see you. Anyway, even you should get it now. I'm only here because of you, Cassandra. You got in the way of me just stating, uh, staying peacefully at school. You got in the way of me finishing the league. And you got in the way of me stopping D-Meteor. No action undertaken by Cassandra has prevented you from continuing to assist in countering Team Meteor. That's where you're wrong. They still have the glory in everything they do, whether it's luck or some other kind of stupid bullshit. They always just happen to be at the right place at the right time, and there was none left for anyone else. This condition does not necessitate defection as an alternative. What can I say? I got tired of hearing praise everywhere they went. Black Stream, uh, Black Steam Factory? You think I didn't notice something was up there for the first time I visited? Spinal Town? I went back there for the League and rumors about Kexandra were uh, drifting around right alongside the stuff that was still being teleported about. When I had the opportunity, I decided to go with the ones who actually gave me a chance. It is only rational that Kexandra would have accepted any help that was offered. Absence can be a welcome relief. Kexandra would only accept me being around them to use for, uh, me for free healing between battles. That's the case for everyone, right? There's no gratitude there, and it doesn't matter what they think of the other person as long as they're of no use. Utility is not the only benefit of cooperation. Individuals participating in mutually beneficial activities for the sake of the same goal often observe increased friendliness between them. Victory shared is victory halved. Please. Kickstarter only cares about what others do for him. Someone that's mute can't make friends anyways. Appreciation can exist and be expressed independent of speech. A gift has no value if not given. Just because kindness can be silent doesn't mean silence is kind. Or are you saying that's the best I can expect? That's not my intention, but... Neglect is the most kindness someone can offer. That would make a lot of sense, seeing as you always ignore me and favor your stupid textbooks. I must have really been awful for a bunch of paper to be more worthy of your attention than me. One's interests are not exclusive to their regard for others. Motives do not erase a crime. So you just hated me all on your own then, is that it? Just like everyone else? The aforementioned thought pattern remains extremist and fatalistic. Complicated words cannot blur simple truth. It is extreme, isn't it? But I guess that's what you'll say I deserved. It was the same with you and the same with everyone. No one can say what another deserves. The boss standing witness is as guilty as the murderer. If it wasn't for what I deserved, then why didn't you do anything about it? Was I not worth it to you? Or did I not even just cross your mind in the first place? Forget or forsake me. Which is it? 
That is not a statement that can be answered. Because the answer is already known. You're disgusting. Both of you. We'll make a world where heartless people like you don't exist. I'm going on ahead. These two can rot in here for all I care. Incorrect. Excuse me? Ugh. Those who are worthy are the only ones that may advance. Those who advance are the only ones who are worthy. Yet no one goes anywhere. These are the world rules of the world. This is the world you made. This is the world I finish. Pulse confirmed. Injury includes one significant laceration on the face. She appeared to have no visible weapon, however. Regardless, I will extract him from this place and see to his immediate treatment. The rest is in your hands alone. Farewell, Alexandra. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, time to uh, save. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, cool story. Hey, Def, I think we might be fighting land soon. You'll say. Time to mine this rock. You know, the calm before the storm here. I can't. I don't have to fight land if I just keep mining. If I just become a miner, Def. That's the truth. What do you think the gimmick? Lynn doesn't fight miners. I'm too young. <laughs> what do you think the gimmick's gonna be? Bikes. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Like, what can they do with a bike? Hmm. I uh, I mean, you've seen Yu Gi Oh Five Ds, right? I have not seen it. That is quite literally bike racing. Uh, it's literally card games while bike racing. But like. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be... Ooh. Ooh, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, do you think Megas are coming back? No. <laughs> do you hope Megas are coming Definitely back? Definitely not. Uh, yes, I do. I also do. Alright, no more no more mining. No more crack mines. They did, they did, they did show that crystal thing at the end. That they, was they very suspicious, right? That was very sus. I wasn't the only one to think it was sus. Is that Fern? It looks like Fern. It's a ghost. Um, yeah, it was very sus seeing that at the end of the trailer. I was like, uh, what? Because, like, if you if you didn't, if you don't know, at the end of the trailer, it shows, like, this weird crystal refracting, refracting type light thing. Uh, and it's just a Pokeball, and that's kind of it. The other thing to note, if you look at the gems, the uh, actual Pokeball design also has, like, a crystal refracting around it instead of the normal, like... Just solid color. You mean lightning bolt coming out of it? Uh, it's not a lightning bolt. It's uh. Oh, this place is cool. Uh, don't want to go in there yet. Yeah, I think we're gonna go over there. Cool story. Hello. But yeah, if you look at the gems, it's not like a. It's like the Pokeball pattern is like broken. Oh, Wait. I see it. Yeah. Don't tell me you're John's League or something. Wait, really? People are actually getting through it now? Jesus, I figured enough of them would be dead, missing, or both that i never see a challenger up here. I mean, I only took this job because I figured nobody would even get up here. Then I could just get paid to do nothing. But no, someone had to come along and ruin it. I don't get to give you the rundown Elite Four Challenge, huh? Well, I don't want it, and you can't make me. So there. Okay. Cool, cool. I thought you were referring to the actual gym symbol, which appears to be like a mountain coming up a Pokeball. But it's usually just a lightning bolt. Yeah, I was talking about the actual, like, well, it's symbol itself, um, like on the ground of it. Uh, I don't know if we need any more of these, but I'm just gonna stock up just in case. We're healed. Let's see what else is over this way. Cause there is. Oh, is there? Oh, there is. There's a giant dragon. Nothing. Nothing over here. You can't even interact with this thing. All right. Well, I guess we're. I guess we're going into this place. Uh. I don't know if I like this. I'm assuming this is the badge checker. Well, there's only four, so that's not likely. Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. I guess that could be what that is. Yeah, this is darkness. 
Oh, that's the uh, flying gym. Yeah, it's the big top. Yeah. Oh. So many memories coming through here. So many. Some parties, I'm pretty sure. Yep. That was Charlotte's. Yep. No, Charlotte's was uh, the one before. Charlotte's the younger one. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I knew that. It looked like it looked like it was oh. like a floor in Charlotte's gym. Well, we're in now. Uh. We're flying. Hey, it's Heather. I was wondering when you're gonna show up already. Jeez, you have any idea how long I've been waiting up here? I'll give you a hint. It's almost forever. Anna said that uh, I had to be here for something soon, but it still took too long. Anyway, uh, to tell the truth, there's something I've been wanting to say to you. I know I've been kind of, well, kind of a brat, but even despite that you were here to help me out in Amatron, and even though I didn't really understand what was going on at the time, you were there at the doctor's place too. You and Shelly have always done your best for me, even though I never deserved it. And I'm not really used to people being nice to me. I mean, you saw what my dad was like, and I ended up finding an old journal of his. I guess in his own weird roundabout way, he was just trying to look out for me. It's a lot to take in, but I think I understand. Even if I don't really know how to handle it. Oh God, I sound like Shelly right now. The point is, okay, thank you for trying to help me even though I thought, uh, well, whatever. You don't care about all that, right? None of that matters, you're here to fight. But if you underestimate me now, you'll be blown away. So let's not waste another minute. Salamence, it's time to take off. When will we learn to say death? You say before this, what are you talking about? Oh, did we? Good. Elite Four Wind Maiden Heather. Hey. You know what? Uh, how, can they, how can they add the second half of the, of the quote to make it more clear what they're referring to? Yeah. Uh, rock slide. Great bird. We probably don't eat that. Oh, we do. Kind of eat that. Alright. Ooh, a Gyarados. I see a first, our first problem. So we don't have an answer to Gyarados? We have no answers to Gyarados. Uh... Actually, I guess we go Koyo. Uh, Dragon Dance. Oh, okay. Z Sky Strike. Alright, so you've got a Z move. Is that the first Z move we've seen? I feel like we don't see them very often compared to the Megas. Yes? Okay. Alright, so. Also, they, they, they also had Tailwind. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering if we'd be fast enough for this. Um, they, probably have, they probably have a permanent Tailwind because you're on the mountain. Well, she set up Tailwind. Wait, well, yeah, she set up Tailwind, but hasn't gone away yet. Hasn't it been like five turns already? No, it's been. This is literally the third turn. It'll go away after okay. this turn. Um, I mean, we still don't really have anything. We have flappers. Uh, actually, I know what we do. Go Drizzle. That seems like a bad. Oh, let's just keep using Stone Age. Waterfall. Drizzle goes down. That's fine. You have Moxie. That's scary. Tailwind stops. We go Flappers. We do have an answer. It's called Flappers. Archeops. We're all in. Oh, this thing's still faster. That's impressive. Why'd you use Avalanche? It's four times super effective? Against the rot type? Oh, wait. Never mind. I, what was I thinking? Also, Avalanche has negative priority. I'm pretty sure. It does. It does have negative priority. <laughs> That's also why you went, probably went last. Hey, you know what? Maybe we should... Actually, I kind of want to see what uh, you have. Why didn't you just Bullet Punch? Fine. So you could have broken a uh, well, just in case that didn't one shot for some reason. Gengar. Um. But in case it did, you would have actually prevented this Gengar from getting out. Yeah. Um. Just, or getting, or having this Gengar have um, a tailwind. I mean, I, bullet punch wouldn't have taken out unless you we were. I, I doubt that. Bullet punch isn't that strong. I mean, if we were Mega Metagross, maybe. Uh, our Gengar answer though is something. I guess we're gonna go Aces. Hit it with the biggest move we can. Brainbird. Uh, Brainbird. That's gonna go first. First, and it's gonna have boosted. Salamance. Alright. I mean, obviously there's Darwin, but it seems gonna have like poison jab or something. 
It doesn't get poison jab. It does get iron head though. <laughs> and this thing is absolutely gonna be a mega salamancer with area lead. So takedowns are gonna hurt a lot. Um Mega Salamus is area lead and that. It does have area lead. Um that's why it's such a threat. It's like one of the worst megas you can find. Um so Mega Salamance. What is our answer to a Mega Salamance? Darwin? I mean, but if what you're saying is true, it's also has a Tailwind behind it, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, baby Dawes. I think it's way too blue. It's going to return everything to death. Um, the only hope is if we go... Steven and Bull Punch isn't going to do a whole lot to this thing. Um, maybe Meteor Mesh? Yeah, it's going to be quick. We eat one more. Oh, of course it crits. I was going to say, as long as it doesn't crit, we'd be okay. Alright, we have to Brave Bird and hope that we take it out. We don't. Very close. But it was a lot closer. Uh, During strong winds, Gus gets an increased power by 1.5% on top of the boost of special flying type moves and flying moves, totaling to 3.375% times. Alright, I'm gonna try to kill off some uh, turns here with uh... Splintered Storm Shards will currently terminate this field effect. What was? Splintered Storm Shards, isn't that, uh... Black and Rock Sea move? Yeah. Um, if you want to kill the field, there's an idea. I don't think we've got a Z move. I mean, maybe we do. Ah, Rain's up. That did, like, nothing. Why didn't they do a lot? What, that? Yeah, why didn't Rock Slide do a whole lot? I mean, it could be Delta Stream, but I doubt it's Delta Stream. <laughs> oh, you're still faster than this. Um, uh, oh, that's right, the Tailwind's up. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, crap. Um, we live one. Do we knock it out with a flash? Oh, well, we avoid that, so that's good. Oh. I'll just take the win. I'll just take it. Archaeops. Alright, we're gonna test your board theory here. When we get Earthquake Death, we'll be upset. Oh, no, it's gonna kill So, this thing can't really do a lot to us, right? Like, hey, especially if you haven't done the half yet. Really... Still is doing a quite a bit. Um, or plus two. Uh, we can go ahead and four store. I wasn't expecting to do the elite four this episode, to be honest, but. I guess we're doing it. Or at least one we of them. We can get Lightning Rock Sea Crystal now. I mean, we can't anymore because of, uh, we're trying to... We're we're inside, but if we, since I'm route four, we may have already gotten it. We might. I'd have to look and see. Alright, Tailwind's gone. Um... Do I want to heal again? Yeah. Well, the thing is... Okay, he's not going to Uh, let me just drink close. Salamence? No. Intimidate, that should be fine. Uh, Dragon Claw. Alright, bye. Ooh, Nido King. Nido King is the last one. Do you survive an earthquake? Fight up, plus two. No. Uh, Gengar. Earthquake again. Oh, yeah, I guess. I was gonna say, wait a minute, does it actually have Levitate? Do they remove that? Alright, bye. No, 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 no! Uh, well, I guess this is kind of the thing I expected from you. Anyways, don't think you've won just yet. 
I'm just first in line and you'll have to take us all down. Oh, also I guess you might need this soon. You can borrow it, okay? Ruby ring. But that means I want it back. You better not lose it or I'll actually beat you up. Got it? Good. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna save, do a little save a here. And just see. Uh, yep. Alright, uh, I don't know what this person's gonna be. Uh, you saved the game, right? I did. Who is it gonna be? I think we already know who it is based on this. Do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Laura. Welcome, Kixandra, to my garden. I believe this encounter has been a long time coming. I've heard much about your exploits. And I understand that you were driving force behind waking me up when I was under a hypno spell. For this and everything else that you've been done for my sister, you have my eternal gratitude. However, I'm afraid there's one complication, as you may be aware. Well met. Oh, that's you. <laughs> well met, Kixandra. This was the compromise we reached. I think you know what. Oh, that's you. I think, <laughs> I think you know by now that Reborn's Elite Four are dual typed. After discussing the issue with the folks down at the Grand Hall, they determined that there is no harm in splitting these two types between two people. As long as we stick to the six Pokemon limit, it's effectively a typical match. I'm aware that Bennett has somewhat colored history, but I ask that you treat us one and the same. I do not believe that one's condition in the past should determine their treatment in the present. I will not be so well off in that we would be the case either. And damage done to any flower is erased each spring when a new one blooms. Adaptation to the circumstances is a necessary trait for any organism. And nature possesses beauty, exactly because it's ever-changing. Those who do not change inevitably fall behind in the world. I have no intention of falling behind, and I hope, Kexandra, that you do not either. Laura and I will endeavor as partners to adapt to each other's battle style. Show us, Kexandra, how you've adapted to your conditions. I don't like this. Also, it's raining, which means we really don't need to play it. Like, at all. It is raining. Yep. Um, so many I things. Think, I'm gonna think in the background group. Yep. Uh, I guess Icy Wind and go instead of Misty Terrain. Oh, you know what would be fun? What? Burning everything down. We could do that. Also, uh, this thing is... More. <laughs> well, it's always gonna be... Uh, uh, Drizzle, we'll go and Icy Wind. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 hold up. Now, Whimsicott can't leave. Yeah, I know, but we're also not slow enough. I was going to say that, or we're not fast enough. Um, so, I'm going to just Icy Wind uh, and do a big hop for us. We're not fast enough. I guess it'll be nice for the first turn. Yeah. Alright, so... Whatever's coming in here is going to be slow. Slower. Uh, Alright, but sounds sticky webs, then anything that flies will not be slow. Uh, we go Aces, and I think we take out the Galvantula, and we just hunt for a I was it might be better off, yes, it might be better off using Flare Blitz there. <laughs> it's raining. Oh, yeah. Alright, don't worry, the first two's gone. Alright, we're going to go Koyo. Levani and Lily. Alright. Is there Dance? something up with the background regrowing itself that's important? I wonder. I don't know. This is trying. Sleep powder. Alright, I, I know what this thing's gonna do, and it's kind of annoying. Alright, so we need to four store Darwin. Oh, I guess we can also just. Uh, berries. Uh, poisoning, burn, frozen. Just a... Oh no, our leftovers. That's kind of a problem. Kind of. Uh, Dragon Dance. Uh... No, don't, don't go on. Uh, no, no. Alright, does Sleep Powder work even though you're in the Misty Terrain? It shouldn't. Um, just go ahead and lower you too. Are you still using it then? Uh, AI is broken. Um, we go Flappers, which is kind of an odd thing, but 
Uh, I think we can just. I don't. I mean, what, what are they doing to you right now? Like, other than putting you to sleep, which are missing terrain, which doesn't work. I say just dragon dance again. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and do this, and we'll go ahead and just rock slide just to get damage off of our like a sash or something. Train's not gonna do a whole lot. Alright, now then. So much for not using Dragon Dance over and over. <laughs> After yeah. Dragon Stand is gone. Um Again? Do you ask me on Fleet Shirt? Or do you want to just No, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I don't wanna be put You'd to sleep. Probably fly if you wanna avoid the sleep. I mean I guess it could. Fly could miss though. Fly could miss, yeah, you're right. I you're right to take out the Dragon Claw. Um We'll do it just in case. We'll just do it just to be on the safe side. Do it. Um, and we'll meteor mash. Okay. This is why I kind of want to get rid of this a little bit. Uh, I guess we'll full restore to get all of our health back. That seems unnecessary. It doesn't look like it did that much damage to you anyway. It's going to be doing a lot more because we don't have an assault vest anymore. I mean... The knockoff wasn't affected by the assault vest. Ah, uh, forget it's the minus two. Whoa! Yeah, we don't want that. I think we just fly and KO it. Uh, I'm gonna bullet punch you just in case you have some kind of. Oh no, you have the seat. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Well, leave Andy's not really gonna do a whole lot. I mean, that's kind of annoying. I do have to heal up this though. Blue. Oh. Okay. All right. Cool story. Cool story. Uh, I'll just fly. Uh. Bye. All right. That's cool. I mean, everything is blossoming quite nicely for you, isn't it? I hope that you cherish this moment. I mean, Levani can't really do a whole lot. I mean, it's a 1v1 now, which is kind of nice. Uh, the question is, do I want to revive anyone? I don't think you, I mean, you're going to do it later anyway, but I don't waste any more items. I mean, you're headed to fight. I don't see a need to. Well, in case something goes awry. Right, like we're in a position where we can heal things if we need to. Sure. I, I'm going to at least revive Asus because of acrobatics. I mean, that's fine. We can get it here. Koyo, you can just fly, and we can just go ahead and full restore again. This thing's got, you know, ungodly poison powers. I forgot we had a Tularic Seed. Um, there goes the Tularic Seed. Why didn't that pop? Oh, that's right, we don't need it. Oh. Oh, that was their final one. <laughs> Impressive. I'll take note to study this later. Sandra, do you know what apolosis is? No. That's only understandable. Apolosis is the process by which a larval... Ah, well. In short, it means you're going to. I look forward to seeing just what heights you can reach. Butterflies and buttercups are not so terribly different. Everyone must find beauty in their own struggle to grow. I hope you don't miss the beauty in yours. One more thing before you go, King Sandra. I owe you this. It should not have left your care in the first place. And mod as well. One half of the pair will hardly do you well. It's better in your hands for the purpose that it was meant. That mod is as simple as a memento. Oh, the bracelets. No more time to waste, though. Your path is for it still. Alright, well, that actually wasn't that bad of a fight. <laughs> so far, the Elite Four hasn't been terrible. Kind of surprised. Uh, anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Like I said, uh, Daddy Nintendo said he's going to turn Sprigatito into a two-legged beast if you don't like the video. Uh, so make sure you like it. And let us know which one of the starters you're going to get. Until then, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Later.